big mark. Oh my. <laughs> Brian, what's wrong? Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you're thinking, brother. I can't talk. <laughs> I can't talk. It's a nice fish. Oh, it might be my PB. I'm telling you. Make sure you get his head, brother. Here he comes. Brian, get his head. You did it! He's in the net. <laughs> Look at, look at the size of that. Hey guys, I made it out to our old pal, Brian Bra Airs Lores. He's coming out the door behind me. We are at his shop, at his house, and we're looking at lures. Now, it's a rainy day. I couldn't do any kind of fishing today. Well, I chose not to go swimming while I was fishing. So I'm here hanging out with Brian. We're gonna talk lures for a little bit. We're gonna have a little shop tour. A couple lures that are new to him. And what are we thinking to do with these, Brian? Oh, nighttime stripers. So these are our nighttime striper well, Maybe lures. even a walleye if we get lucky. <laughs> I'm okay with that. There's so much going on. Like every great business that has a humble beginning, it's kind of neat to spend some time here at Bra Air's Lures with the lore artisan himself giving me the grand <laughs> tour yeah. of such a humble space there's so much going on in this little area here just the the paint collection and the the kits that he has to work and the precision that he's been talking to me about how he actually develops these ideas this is bra airs lords I hope you guys enjoy this if you do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't yet do the sub Brian was just making sure we all knew that these lures are all for sale these are just some of the collection that he has in stock. I love it. The drawers of lures. And there's the top water. Oh, top here's water. The, here's the wake bait. Let's see it. The old mouse. There we go. Look at the bill on this, guys. It's a very cool design. And that's a mouse. And it's a wake bait. I like that. Do you have a name for that lure? Just the mouse. The mouse. The mouse. And then I got a white one. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nice. The hands of an artist too. Is that paint on your hands? Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Brian, I think you have something special going on with your lures, man. Thank you. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so many. If you are a lore fanatic like me, you guys know that I'm a lore fisherman. This is like heaven right now. Wow. Now it's difficult, like, until I actually sit down and take video of each, or pictures of all your lures and like lay them out and do like a professional layout for you. No, we'd be hours. Hours, hours <laughs> of it. So you do a little bit of that for your Facebook page though. Yeah, if you uh, go on my Facebook and you just go to my photo page, click on photos, and they're numbered and they have a name and that's so just pick it, a number it. so if yeah. i go on there i'll just pick a number that i like and then i'll just shoot you a message and see yeah, like, yeah. number and 73 and yes and if you want that on a different body i'll do my best to do it for you so if we have some custom idea exactly you're willing to work with the yes. customer yes very good thank if you if you got any old lures that's all beat up and you want them repainted any certain way or I I do that too so if I have a lore of my old man's that's all beat the heck and back you can restore it yes and I can show you over here some that I bought at a flea market let's do that so what's that in the bill up on the tip that was a weight that I think it's a Rapala they put in for weight yeah, look at the year that one was painted. That's a 19. <laughs> nice. Has that been fished since 2019? Nope. And there's a 7-inch Rapala. It was a golden black that I turned into a branch, right? If anybody has anything out there and they just want to amp it up, <laughs> we can do that. You know a guy. Me, I know a guy. You know him, too. <laughs> Whatever color, wrap it, and you spray another layer and 
maybe another layer to get different just depth different depth different you know and you can see that in a lot of my lures if you look at them close that there's just different levels of different colors I, uh, I like the square bills <laughs> they're pretty pretty nice to work with in my mind I'm a bass fisherman I've caught a lot of fish on them so that's what I I, I guess that's what I really wanted to push is the bass fishing stuff but there's something else coming out that I think will make people in the race town country pretty excited hopefully so we'll see how that goes <laughs> that's a toad wow that's a that's a fine specimen there <laughs> There you go. Bye, buddy. Thanks for the memories. Big things are coming, guys, and I'm excited for you, and I'm excited for us, but I'm really <laughs> excited for the Ray's Town Lake community as a whole. I hope you guys are a part of that. If you haven't been, here's your personal invite. Join us. He's got one on the, the camera. My camera, oh, that's nice. Loosen that drag. Don't make him fight. Nice. It looks like. Oh. Oh. I see any fish I had on all.